To simplify this problem, we must recall that we need to simplify our steps based on the order of operation. The first step to do would be any grouping symbols. We generally call these parentheses because they are the most prevalent, but it could be parentheses, braces, brackets, absolute value symbols, or even square root symbols. We would work through those first. Then we do any exponents that are in the problem. Following that are any multiplications or divisions in the problem going from the left to the right. So if multiplication comes first in the problem left to right, we do that. If division comes first in the problem left to right, we do that. After that is any addition or subtraction. And again, they are also from the left to the right as well. So it depends on the problem, which one is first left to right. In this problem, we have a long division bar. It acts as a separator, separating our numerator and our denominator into two separate problems to be simplified. In the numerator, we follow the orders based on the order of operations, and in the denominator, we do the same. In the numerator, we only have subtraction, so we don't have to worry about parentheses, exponents, multiplying, or dividing. Just do our final step of subtraction, and 27 minus 3 gives us 24. In the denominator, we don't have parentheses, so we skip that step. However, we do have exponents that need to be simplified. So we work out the 2 to the 4th power, which as we know is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, repeatedly multiplying our 2 four separate times. The result of that is 16. We do the second exponent, which is 2 cubed, and that is 2 times 2 times 2, giving us a result of 8. We have the 16 minus 8, and that is what we need to simplify to get our denominator answer. 16 minus 8 is 8, so we have a numerator value of 24, a denominator value of 8, and our final step is to uh, do the reducing for this fraction or division. Again, you can think of this bar as a division bar. 24 divided by 8 is 3, so the result for this problem simplifies to be 3.